In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Sergio Lull from the Spain national basketball team. He is one of their top players, and Spain themselves are definitely a team that the United States and everyone else needs to watch out for because they are historically a very strong team. Let's get down, let's check out Sergio Lull. So really quick, Sergio Lull has a very fast jump shot. The reason for that is he has a very close to 90 degree angle on his elbow, which will allow him to get that shot off quicker than most other guards. He also has a very quick release and very little wrist flick, which will allow him, in my opinion, I would classify this as a hard release, which will allow him to get a lot of backspin on the ball, which will allow him to get rid of the ball out of his hands faster in case of a team trying to block his shot, but at the same time, it's going to be a very soft shot when it hits the rim. And we can see that right here, lots of backspin. Now this one goes in swish, but if it did hit the rim, it would have had a lot higher of an opportunity to bounce in, mainly because of that backspin. As we can see here, Sergio Lull has a very fast release before even the defender is able to get to it to block it. I really think that Sergio Lull could be a very deadly player in this year's Olympics. Sergio Lull is very good at using that screen and roll because he has such a fast shot. He's able to get that shot off before, before his defender gets through those screens. He can get that shot off as we can see here. Now something that the Spain national team is very good at is using that screen and roll, attacking the rim, and using one-handed passes as we've seen right here to be able to get their teammates wide open. Now why are one-handed passes so useful? Well it's because now if he's halfway through that pass, if he's about to pass that ball with one hand and he decides, oh that defender is now hedging over to stop my ability to pass to him well I can just put that ball back down my hand never picked up that ball my hand is still on top of the basketball I can still dribble once again however here we do see that one-handed pass for the basket here we can really see how fast his shot is before that very tall six foot seven defender is able to block his shot Sergio Lull is also extremely good at running the floor Finding, finding his teammates in transition, he is a very good player. Let's not forget that he can really block shots on taller players too. So here in this clip we have Sergio Lull down in the middle of the key. His the player he's defending uses that pin down screen. He's able to read that, come behind the defense, pick off that pass, and then he's able to finish in transition right at that rim. Extremely high level player, very deadly player in the international game. Something that's really confused me is how Sergio Lull has never actually made it to the NBA at a high level. Here we see him a nice quick crossover towards the left side, which the defender was unable to defend because now, as we can see here, this defender was squared up towards the right sideline. Sergio Lull has that ball in his right hand. He's able to do an over-the-hand crossover, and because that defender's momentum was taking him towards that right side, Sergio Lull was able to get past him easily on that left side after after that crossover and was able to finish with a layup at the rim. So this is actually a very good lesson for any player who is of course a guard or even a forward. Anyone who's bringing that ball up in transition, if your defender is going towards that right side or even the left side and you can cross over towards the opposite side as to where your defender is heading, you can really gain the advantage on him and get to the rim easily. Now here's a really good lesson for any good young player. After you set, use that screen and roll and you're attacking the basket, if a help defender comes down one player away, one pass away, it's not like if it's this player who's hedging out, it's the one pass away player, the top player, you need to then watch that happen, pick up that ball and kick that ball out for a three because that's going to get you a ton of assists and Sergio Lull is smart enough to see that. Let's not forget, Sergio Lull plays FIBA basketball all the time. He knows how to attack taller players, how to get his body into that defender to be able to create a shot for himself. Here he comes off of the screen, he has a double team, something that a lot of European players do is to use their body to their advantage. Advantage. And Sergio Lull really does that. When he's attacking the basket here, he uses his left side to create contact. His shoulder creates contact with that player. This is 100% allowed. And he's able to get that shot off because he has such a fast release. 
He's also a very good passer. Coming off of this screen, he has a hedging center. He's able to get that center up into the air, pass that ball around to his own center, who can then finish with the two-handed dunk. And this is what I mean by such a fast shot. Watch this. Catches, bang, shot, quick. This is how you can do a quick shot. You catch that ball, land on two feet. Catch it when you're in the air. Land on two feet, land so that you're already in your shooting stance and your shooting form. So that when you go up for your shot, here he releases that ball super quick because he has that 90 degree angle on his elbow, which is deadly. I really like it when players shoot with a 90 degree angle on their elbow because they can get their shot up in traffic over anybody and guess what? That's what we see with Sergio Lowe. Now something every single player should practice, not necessarily to do in game every single time, but something as a something that's fun to do is to send up layups from the three point line as we see here. Mainly because, of course, now if you draw the foul in transition or whatever it is, and if you can draw a foul, as we see here, and he hits that three, he can hit massive shots, get that and one, and guess what? That's a four point play. I hope that this breakdown of Sergio Lowell helps you become a better basketball player. If it does hit that like button, make sure to go check out my online basketball skills training down in the description below and I'll see you guys again next time.